Hey church family, a little bit cooler outside today than I would like for this midweek update, but it is April and you never know what you're going to get, right? I do have some announcements for you this week, but before we get to that, I wanted to ask you to pray about something. There are people who are going to be showing back up at church whenever we're allowed to reopen and have everybody back together, and they're going to be a little bit different than they were before. Different things have affected them. Uh, some people emotionally have been affected. Some have lost jobs, income, uh, just all different ways that people may be there. Some who used to give you a hug or a handshake may not feel comfortable doing that. We don't know what social distancing is going to look like, and people will have different opinions about that. Some may even look a little different than they did before all this started. So I want to encourage you, just accept them the way God accepts us, as we are, right? Don't point out those things and make a big deal out of them. But we want to pray for those who have been affected and who are going to be a little bit different coming back from this. So would you pray together with me? Lord, we want to pray today for those who are going to show up at our church looking a little differently. Pray, Lord, that you would help us to accept in the way that they are. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so i got a few announcements to let you know about today. Uh, first of all, for our adults, this Thursday is the first of our sessions we're going to meet together through Zoom. We're doing a new study. It's all online as far as the teaching material, and then we'll meet together to discuss on Thursdays at 7. So what we need you to do is I need you to contact Maria to get her to send you a link for all the material and also for all of the uh, Zoom links that you're going to need. So you can email her. It's just it's just office. I'm sorry, not office. Admin, A-D-M-I-N, at MetaRichChurch.org. She'll email you all the details. Listen, this Thursday night, Rudy's doing something a little bit different with our kids. So you guys are going to meet with Mr. Rudy at 5 o'clock for a scavenger hunt through Zoom. So again, email, he's going to be emailing out to parents all the information that you're going to need to get online with us on Zoom and participate at 5 o'clock Wednesday night with a scavenger hunt. We have youth activities going on Wednesday night. That's through a teaching time from Nathan and then also through Zoom meetings with your small groups. We also have going on the Ladies Prayer Conference call going on at 7 o'clock. You can get information about that on our church website. Go to the main page, metaridgechurch.org, and then Church at Home. Click on that link and you'll be able to get everything you need. Hey, we need some help though. This Thursday is our food pantry, and we are trying to do a drive through food pantry. And the help that we need is we need more people to volunteer to help us with it. Uh, if you can be there 9 o'clock on Thursday morning, we will be doing social distancing. You can come, come with your mask. We'll have gloves for everybody, but we're going to be packing food into bags already done. People won't be getting out of their cars. They'll drive through our parking lot, and then we'll load it into their trunks. So if you can be there at 9 o'clock on Thursday morning, would you do me a favor? Email Maria. That's admin, A-D-M-I-N, at metaridgechurch.org. So we know we've got enough people to help out those who are in need this coming Thursday for our food pantry. And then last thing I want to tell you about is an opportunity. It's nothing our church is doing, but it's something that's been going on for years called Secret Church. That's coming up on April the 24th. That's a week from this Friday. And you can participate in that. It is a teaching time. It's six. Listen, it's, it may not be for everybody. It's six hours. David Platt, who used to be the head of the mission board, the International Mission Board, pastors a church. He does this every year, and he's going to be teaching a series or, or through the Bible and what is called God, Government, and the Gospel. How does it all fit together? And what's our responsibility as citizens of the United States, our citizens of another country, and to God and to our government? So you can go online. This is all, this is all up to you. You can go online and you can register for that at secretchurch.org. And you can get registered. They'll send you the materials, our notebook, really, to go along with it. It's $12 per person. You would just stream that into your house and be a part of that teaching time. And I can't think of a better thing for us to be thinking through is how does the gospel and God relate to the government in an election year like we're having, in a year where we're being told to lock down and we're not supposed to meet as churches? How does all that fit together? 
I think it's a great timing on this. They planned it even before this outbreak happened. But God, government, and the gospel, that's on April the 24th. And then last thing I want to remind you of what we read at the end of the service this past week. It says, always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So this week, Meadow Ridge, whether you're stuck at home, whether you're working, whether you're helping your kids with school, whatever you're doing, give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Well, you have a blessed week, and we'll see a bunch of you on Thursday on our Zoom call at 7 o'clock. Be blessed.